Please welcome Alexandra Dexkovska, Weizmann Institute of Science. These damn cells, new players in Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is the most prevalent form of uh, dementia. Um, and it's predicted that by 2030 there will be 70 million people affected and it will be five times more expensive to treat it than cancer. The hallmark of Alzheimer's disease is accumulation of protein aggregates in the brain, mostly amyloid beta plaques, which cause neuronal damage, neuronal death, and finally dementia. Now, the immune system, the immune system has been implicated in the disease uh, for a long time, but we didn't know what kind of cells, what kind of pathways are involved, and whether it's beneficial or detrimental that they're active. So we decided to look at the problem with uh, this new approach of single cell RNA sequencing, because with this, you don't have to have, many, have any assumptions about cell identities or pathways that are involved. You just grab the entire picture at once. So we compared brains, um, immune cells taken from brains of normal mice, wild types, and Alzheimer mice. And what we found is a picture that is pretty typical except of one thing. We found two cell populations that look quite like microglia, but not exactly, that were only present in Alzheimer's mice and not in the normal mice. When we had a closer look at uh, what they express, we found many marker genes that were very, very specifically expressed only there, and they were related to phagocytosis and lipid metabolism. And we found that the same signature is found in microglia in other cases of neurodegeneration, natural aging, multiple sclerosis, or, or ILS. And this suggested that um, this cell type arises in the brain under conditions of neurodegeneration. And so we called them disease-associated microglia. We also looked whether there is any relevance of these damn cells to human AD. We found them in human brains, and not only that, we found them surrounding the plaques, creating a barrier around them. So it looks like they are pro uh, preventing the plaque from further growth. We also found evidence from human genetics that these cells are relevant. If you have full genetic makeup that makes, um, creates a potential for you to uh, produce them, you are more protected against Alzheimer's disease. We found that TREM2 is the major gene that is involved in dam um, development. If you don't have TREM2, the cells do not acquire the full uh, transcriptomic uh, makeup, and also they do not cluster around plaques. So eventually mice that lack TREM2 and have <coughs> Alzheimer's, in them the disease gets worse. So I showed you today that these damn cells are new players in Alzheimer's disease and beyond. We also see them in other cases of neurodegeneration. We found that they restrict plaque growth and that they're relevant for human condition. And now we are working further on these cells to understand how we can use them uh, to treat Alzheimer's in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.